Hello everybody, welcome back to the budget build, welcome back to the stealth camper. Right, today we're going to fit some very, very basic electrics. Now, obviously there's no lights in here, I've just got like battery power at the moment, MOT torches. Right, so without any BS, I'm just going to get straight into it and then if you want to replicate this, because this is going to be the most simplest form of getting power into the back of your van. So, this is a Vauxhall Vivaro, and the Vauxhall Vivaro has a battery underneath the passenger side seat. So, basically, it's behind this panel. So, down here, this is what we're going to use. So, we've got a AGM battery which was given to us. We've got a VSR unit. So this is going to connect to the starter battery under the uh, passenger side footwell. And this is going to be for, I mean, this is, this is free. So I'm just going to wire this in to the battery and then at a later date, this is going to be connected up to 240 volts just on a, a shoreline power. So what have we got? We have got the VSR. We've got some terminals for the battery. So one will be sitting there and one will be sitting there and they're on little butterflies. We have a selection of lugs because we're gonna to need to connect these to the fuses, which here and to crimp it all together we can use this hydraulic clamp obviously you're not going to have all these tools um, you can buy them on kit form and you can buy all this stuff in my amazon in my amazon uh, shop so there's a link in the description with all this and if you want to go there, I do try and look for the best parts at a reasonably good price. So these are the parts that I use to do my stuff. So anyway, let's go and disconnect the battery in the van so we can basically drill a hole here into the front. Okay, so here we are in the front of the Vauxhall Vivaro. This is a 2003. So the battery lives under the passenger side. I'm just going to take that away. And it should be behind here, a little plate, which is there. Now, that's the speaker cables. Now these little Torx nuts are pretty much always corroded. So that might give us some problems. And the battery, is under there so i'm gonna get a torque or you can get a you you can use a large flat screwdriver so i'm gonna try that first because hopefully it should be all right so there you can see the battery here's the positive we're going to come off of this terminal because that looks a bit corroded and then we're going to run the cable under and then out the back to here And then it's going to come out there. So this is the bit of cable we're going to use. So I've put the van on the ramp and now I'm going to fit it. Okay, so there's the positive underneath. There you go, with a fuse onto there. So I'm gonna have to cut this, trim it, put a lug on it, heat shrink it, and then put a fuse and then do another one. We'll get to that in a minute. And the end of the cable has come out there. So that's perfect. Right, so let's trim all this up, cut it, and then with all the terminals, 
the box and use a hydraulic camper, get it all done. Radio, back inside the van. So we are going to place that there and then we're going to have a cable coming around to here with a fuse on it. So now we've got to have to measure, so we're going to have to take the back off. There's a fuse, uh, sorry, there's the earth wire. So I'll have to drill a little hole for that and we'll probably just put it down somewhere here. So that's going to go there. So we're going to have to cut the cable. So on here, it says, so the camera can zoom in. So start to battery and auxiliary battery. So it'll be that way round. So start to battery is this side and the auxiliary battery is this side. So if we replace that there, so we only want a short length. So about there, so if we cut it here, we're a pair of really good quality Nipex pliers. Job done. Now we need to trim the cable. With a sharp knife, careful not to cut yourself. He says. And there we have it. Now we're going to go to our box and we want a terminal that's going to fit. We want two of them and that's going to go on there like so. I'll zoom in a little bit. And then what we do with the crimper, with these, we're going to crimp down on it. Now these are a bit fiddly. So I pump it away. I think I'm using a 25 mil here. So we've got some heat shrink, I'm going to cut a nice big length for this off and we're going to heat shrink that on. So just slip it over. Like that. Get the old Bunsen burner. Job done. Right, that's that one done. So we're gonna need another one. Do exactly the same. Okay, so I've made a link cable. That's gonna go there. All we've got to do now is fit the VSI unit. I've drilled a hole for the earth cable. I'll just pull that out the back. So that's gonna go through there. So, now with a ratchet, we're going to take off the terminals, or the nuts for the terminals. So here we go. So quite across his start battery. So we're gonna put that one on there. So that's gonna fit under. It's quite fiddly this bit, but hopefully you can get the gist. Now we're going to fit this one, and this goes to the secondary battery. 
So this is positive, second battery. So that one goes on there. So, what we're going to do now is cut. Oh, we don't have to do that. Right, so just nip these up. So, okay, so now we can just thread that through. That's going to go in like that. And hopefully, it's going to sit. Like that. So we'll put the... So hopefully, it's going to sit like that. So I'm going to put the two screws. Get a better light on it, because this is... So there you go. It's going to sit like that. So I'm going to put the two screws in. One at the top, one at the bottom. I'll do it now. There we have it. Now all we we'll do is do the fuse end for this and then we can connect it to the battery. Right, so we connected the positive lead and down, down in there is the fuse. So that goes all the way under, under the back seat, into there, into the VSR, from the VSR, fuse onto the positive side of the battery. The negative goes through the bulkhead and down to here. And if you notice, it's another little lead. That is the trigger wire for this. So, let's go and start the engine up. I'll just put the camera down and that little light will come on. So there you go, now we're charging. Better turn the radio down so I'm going to get a copyright strike. <clears throat> so hopefully we can see here, we've got the multimeter and it doesn't really matter which way you go round. So there you go, 14.37 volts, 37. So now we're charging. So what we can do now, now we've got our leisure battery fitted that's charging from the van we can now take power from there and we can fit one of these so that will happen in another video and it's going to go on the other side of this board because this will be a table so it's going to go there or it might go on the front here so it's going to simplify everything 
So there you go. Easy, simple, fit a second battery, and then all your electronics can come from there. Just make it simple, get one of these. So there you go everybody. It's not exactly hard to fit a uh, secondary battery. Um, I've tried to make this as simple and easy to explain as possible. I haven't shown you every single one because it's just a repeated process. So there you go. All these parts here, apart from that, oh, light's gone flat now. So this battery basically, uh, this was from the RAC. Um, that was free. They gave us that because the customer wanted a new battery, nothing wrong with that one. And it's an AGM cell, so that should last lights uh you know and uh may maybe a quite a small inverter but i seriously doubt it because it's not this is not going to have that kind of equipment in it so just got some basic lights on the ceiling a bit of insulation job done so there you go hope this has uh been of use right hopefully you can still see me because it is quite dark now i'm doing this at work as i said uh, in previous videos all the parts that I've used uh, I will link down below with some links to 12 volt planet and a link to my Amazon uh, shop so all the parts that I've listed will be in both of those so you can have a look and you can make your mind up what you want but yeah simplest way to put power in the back of the van a VSR there's nothing complicated about them and if you do want to upgrade from a VSR, you can use the same wire and put a Victron DC to DC charger or any other one that's on the market. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the continuing episodes and the build of this stealth camper with no windows. It's quite dark in here at the moment. It does need some lights on. But hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna put some sound deadening on the roof, see if we can get all some insulation for free from uh, a builder. They always throw this sort of stuff away, just looking skips. And then we'll get some more pallets. I'll have to sort out the pallets because obviously you need the light wood. You can pick them up because it's just part pine, isn't it? So we'll get some strips um, and see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Click and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. See you in the next video. Bye.